Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's me, Monster. I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, not that any of you care, anyways. But uh, I'm gonna do a video. Uh, I actually did a video on this before, but it was really bad. So, um, about the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, I have a GeForce GTX 26, uh, 760. Sorry, I have a 760 graphics card. Um, it's the Zotac 2 gigabyte version. So, uh, what you wanna do is open NVIDIA control panel. This works for all GT and GTX models. It uh, doesn't matter if you're running a 760 or 980, it doesn't matter. Any version of the uh, card you have or any variation, it doesn't matter. So we're going to be doing a uh, performance boost test uh, as our, our tweak. We're not going to be doing the quality version. So uh, you should be on this screen. Uh, if not, just go here real quick. Um, you'll see this. This is just like a preview of what it's doing. Um, most people have this like switch to performance. This is just the basic, uh, easier for this is easier like the user friendly version of what we're about to do. Is just switch it to performance. Uh, this w works really well because it will it will make some of the stuff. I mean, it doesn't go into depth with them, what we're about to do today, but it uh, it does definitely it does help if you put that to performance. But we're gonna select this one. They use the advanced 3D image uh, settings. So take me there. Now this should look the same for you guys, uh, all the NVIDIA control panels are the same, so uh, even if you're running like a GT or whatever. Uh, I already have my settings off, uh, or I already have my settings, so my settings are going to look a lot different than yours if you haven't messed with this yet. Uh, I'm just going to go over what uh, what stuff you should turn off, even though you can see it here if you want to just pause the video and uh, just go ahead and, and fill all these in or do whatever, then you're fine. So the amplitude collision is off. Uh, it says in the bottom right here, uh, right here. If you if you can uh, see, it says uh, typical use is just for quality provides more uh, pronounced uh, realism. And it, this is all really cool. I mean, performance increases the realism without the impact on graphic, less impact on graphics. Uh, so you can hit performance or quality if you if you still want that realism effect or that that thing in your graphics card or whatever uh, hit performance uh, but it doesn't take it off fully it just lessens it in quality but I have it off atmospheric filtering off this is that you really won't even notice that in your game FF FXAA um, this says with a lesser performance this is like anti-analyzing so this is gonna instead of smoothing out the edges this kind of like blurs them into like uh, and to make them seem like they're like they're straight, like they're not so pointy or jagged or whatever. Uh, I just have that off. I mean, you could turn it on and it probably won't affect it that much, but you probably really won't even notice that difference in game. Uh, game correction on, that's just to help with the, uh, yeah, just leave it on. Anti-analyzing. Now, uh, most games that you play already have anti-analyzing on, so you can switch that on and the game will do it for you. The reason you can turn it off here is so the card doesn't have to work twice as hard. Because if you're gonna, if you're playing like Call of Duty, for instance, and you turn anti-analyzing on, um, the card's working double the amount of anti-analyzing anti uh, because the card's doing it itself and then it's doing it for the game. If that makes sense at all. So just turn this off, and if you want to use it, use it in your games. Uh, don't use this on here. Uh, CUDA, uh, CUDA GPUs all, um, if you, I think if this is like, if you have like two different graphics cards or whatever, you can use either both in one, but I only have a single 760, so. GSR factors, um, I turned this off, it says improves the quality in other games. Uh, this is like, this is like the same thing as anti-analyzing for older games that don't have it. You could probably, if you wanted to, you could probably turn this on. Uh, you probably max this out if you want. This is mainly for like really old games like uh, Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2 or 1, uh, Doom 2, kind of like that. Uh, maybe not that old, not as old as Doom 2, but uh, roughly around that era. So that's off. Now, uh, I actually, this one was a little bit tricky for me, the maximum maximum pre-rendered uh, frames, because at first I thought it was kind of bad, like, we shouldn't ha I shouldn't have this on. I thought, oh, well, I want one frame pre-rendered because it's going to work harder. Um, what I actually found out is that this is actually really good. Um, it's you, you want this to be on for because um, predetermined frames is basically it's going to render their frames before you even see them. So this is really good. I turned this off in my game. I was playing Skyrim, and uh, the game was actually running kind of stutterish. And uh, once I switched it back to four, it was running great. Uh, you can actually look up videos. There is a, 
a video I'll put in a link down in the description of this guy actually doing a performance test with it on and off and it actually it knocks his frames down by like maybe about 10 to 5 frames uh, when he put it on one uh, versus four where he had a maximum frame uh, so uh, for some reason uh, GeForce uh, control panel or whatever or any cards uh, already have this set to multiple uh, multiple performance display mode so you you should like I don't know why they um, I don't know why they put that on there because not everybody has multi monitors so you, you probably want to put this on single display if you have a single monitor if you're using more than one then you'd obviously leave it at the multiple but since I have one we're gonna put it at one uh, this does help the gameplay this helps the refresh rate because it's not trying to find a different monitor to all your ports it's only going through the single port so we'll leave that on single performance mode unless you have uh, two or three monitors for it, whatever power management maximum and I'm we're, uh, this actually reminds me we're gonna actually go do something in the settings uh, after this real quick just so you guys um, I'll just get into it later uh, so you want to perform the uh, maximum performance prefer maximum performance shader cache I left this on uh, this isn't really this is just like improved stuff so I mean uh, this one just like it just reduces the stutters in low time so that's nothing on the system that's actually good uh, this looks for higher performance so obviously we want that so I put that on. It says what a minimum loss. Uh, if you, like, um, it's real simple. If you just read the stuff here, it says select off. If you see uh, shimmering objects, <clears throat> I just decided to leave it on. Uh, it, I really don't notice it, and it says it's gonna help the game. So uh, texture filtering, uh, negative all bios, whatever. Uh, this is for clamping. Uh, this is allow for high performance. So we, I, I'm not too sure about this one. So we'll just leave it on allow. Uh, filter quality, high performance, uh, obviously. So. Texture filtering on, uh, threaded optimization on, triple buffering on. Now VSync, some of you guys don't might not like want VSync, and some might uh, you just like want want it on or off. Some people like debate on if they should have it on or off. But uh, I keep it on. Um, VSync is gonna match the refresh rate of your monitor and all that stuff. So if you guys know what VSync is, um, you guys should know what it is if you uh, if you PC game. So I leave it on. You can turn it off in your games. It really doesn't matter if this one. If anything, this is helping you. And then the virtually added pre-rendered frames, like I said, we'll leave this on for. This is, um, it says it does not apply for SLI, so I guess if you guys don't have SLI, it doesn't matter. But if you're having a single card, uh, we'll increase the value for performance, is what it says right there. It may improve performance at cost of whatever. So we'll just leave that, and then we're going to hit apply. And then let's, uh, let's give it a second to, uh, I really didn't change anything, that's why it's probably freaking out. It's like, wait, we didn't really change. Okay, so, I don't know what's going on. It probably just crashed or something. Like, like no. Force plus Okay, so we're gonna do one more thing before I end the video. So that was all the settings for this. So we're done with that. Just hit your apply and continue. Um, we're gonna do one more thing. We're actually gonna go into this. If you have Windows 7, Windows 8, just whatever, it doesn't matter. Just go to your settings. And it opened Fallout for some reason. Um, here, we'll just do it this way then. So we're gonna go to the uh, control panel. Uh, this is a pretty simple uh, trick. Um, most people already know. Hardware and sound, power options. Uh, make sure you have this set to high performance because if you have it on power saver or balance, especially it's usually on balance, uh, what balance is going to do is it's only going to give you a certain amount of power to your uh, graphics card or to your system rather, and you're not going to get a lot of performance, you'll see a lot of stuttering. So if you put this, uh, it says right here, favorite performance but may use more energy, that's completely fine, uh, especially if you're using a laptop or whatever, you want this option, this is going to fully optimize your system. Uh, but, uh, the NVIDIA control panel just goes beyond that this setting so just make sure you have this on high performance and uh, if you don't want to mess with any of this stuff and you're like I'm not too sure if this guy is like weird or whatever then you can always just use the performance option it's gonna be the same thing it's user friendly and um, you'll, you'll get somewhat of the same results but it's better to just follow the tutorial I have just given so uh, so I hope you guys like that and I'm going to roll the outro so thanks for watching